Hello again my friends, welcome back. I wanted to make a quick video showing you a free utility that could help a lot of people with accessibility in VR. It's called Walk in VR, and it's a bit of a misnomer because it's not necessarily a locomotion system, it's more about reaching things that you couldn't reach before. Especially if you're unable to stand or anything uh, similar to that. After firing up the app from desktop, you'll see this. It'll show you your controllers, and I'll just show you a quick example. On my right hand, I'm going to choose Menu button and Rotate. Left hand, uh, Menu button, Move. Okay, I already said that. Now, as a good example, I'm going to fire up New Retro Arcade Neon because uh, this is an older VR game and there's no rotation settings and no in-game height settings. So now, thanks to Walk in VR, I'm going to press and hold Menu on the right hand and I can rotate the world. And now let's uh, get to the game and I'll show you the height. We're here in our private arcade, we'll rotate. Rotate. All right, Metal Slug, one of my favorites. Now I guess technically I could reach this here, but let's say you wanted to reach higher. Uh, left hand is what I'm using for movement, so I click and drag, and now I can move up here and reach this as if I was standing. And that's the gist of it. It's this um, utility that runs in the background and allows you more control over movement and rotation. And I wanted to show you this because I think this is going to be really powerful and will help a lot of people. Switching to the app again, one thing also to keep in mind is single click with the button I specified will initiate virtual move. Double click will do the original function in the game. So for example, let's say the menu button is important in the game you're playing. Double click menu will be the in-game action that you would expect. And a single click and drag is the walk in VR movement. There's also other experimental features like uh, hand tracking with Kinect that's currently in development. Um, you can use an Xbox controller. There's boosted movement so that uh, when you move your hand, the controller moves even more. So it's even more flexibility with uh, reaching things you couldn't reach before. And that's the gist of it. Uh, simple in premise, uh, but very powerful and useful. I think this could help a lot of people. I think they're doing great work. So check it out. Thanks for joining me. We'll catch you later. See ya. Bye. Well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. See ya.